We haven't heard from the FX Knight for a while, but he now returns to Duke's Copy TV with more expert analysis. Andre, what do you have for us today? Hello, Peter. Today I'd like to take a look at the Euro Swiss. Now we learned a bit earlier that Greece was downgraded once again by Moody's and this follows right on the heel of the recent downgrades for both Portugal and Ireland. So that's been weighing heavily on the Euro. And part of the reason I'm trading it against the Swiss franc is there's not a whole lot of confidence coming from the other side of the Atlantic either because the US has failed to come to an agreement regarding their debt ceiling. So the Swiss franc makes for a much smaller bet with the Euro dollar I'd essentially be racing two different currencies down to the bottom. This way I'm taking a strong currency against the weak one. Let's see what the levels look like. As you can see we had a nice move up on the Euro Swiss since the last time we looked at it and we came back down beneath the 21 exponential moving average came back up, retested it as resistance, that was our cue that another move down was coming. That came down beautifully, down to our lo at lower envelope before retracing back up to test our 21 EMA once again as resistance. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a fib on the most recent high and taking it down to the first low before we had the retracement up. Okay, this gave us a 50% retracement we completed a 50 to 161 move after breaking the 161 Fibonacci level and retesting it as resistance we got a bonus round down to 200 and as you can see once we came back up above 200 the time to take it back to the long side was not on the initial break but after we came back down and tested it as support so there was a nice 149 pip trade that we just got out of last week trading from the 200 back up to the 161. We had a gap down to open this week so we really weren't able to capitalize on this move but what I'm looking for next is to see whether this 1.1585 level at the 200% Fibonacci retests as resistance or not. If it does, if it holds as our resistance, I'm going to take a short and my next target is going to be the 261 Fib at 1.1351. If on the other hand we get up above 1.1585 and find some support here, I'll simply trade back up to the 161 Fib at 1.1730. Okay, thank you Andre. We have reaction and interviews from the Geneva Forex events coming up here on Duke's Copy TV, but for now, goodbye.